Back in 2012, Derek from Veritasium posed to the world a very interesting problem. A cursory examination of physics seems to tell us that trees should never be able to exceed 10.3 meters in height. The reason for this is that 10.3 meters is the highest that you can suck water up through a tube. If you take a tube and you create a vacuum at the top, no matter how thin the tube is or how perfect the vacuum, once the water reaches 10.3 meters, the low pressure causes it to spontaneously boil so it can no longer be transported any farther. So, how do trees regularly exceed 100 meters in height? There were several theories that were presented by the people that Derek asked. Most assumed that the xylem tubes through which the water is transported were not actually continuous columns and that the tree was able to lift the water some shorter distance repeatedly, using the analogy of a bucket brigade. Dendrologists, however, have determined that the xylem tubes are in fact continuous columns containing no valves. Some suggested perhaps there was undulating movement like the human esophagus. Squeezing like a cow, like you're squeezing a cow under all the way up. There's little, little tree <laughs> muscles in there. Yeah. But the cells surrounding the xylem are all dead. They suggested osmotic pressure. When you mix waters that contain different concentrations of dissolved solids, they can create pressures as they try to mix, but this isn't nearly enough pressure to create the 10 atmosphere difference required to pump the water up some 100 meters. That's 140 psi. The final main suggestion was capillary action. Water will naturally crawl up very thin tubes due to its surface tension, but even the smallest tubes in a tree would only explain about a 1 meter elevation. The answer is rather elegant. When you're dealing with a column that contains only liquid and no gas or empty space, you can create pressures that are lower than a perfect vacuum. Zero atmospheres is only as low as you can go in the air. But in a liquid, you can go lower than zero pressure and actually get negative pressures. In a solid, we would think of this as tension. This means that the molecules are pulling on each other and their surroundings. As water molecules evaporate from the cell walls of the plant, it can create internal negative pressures as low as negative 15 atmospheres. It survives these incredible pressures by having only the very smallest of openings, some 2.5 nanometers wide. Because the water inside the tree has no gaseous nucleation sites, it doesn't boil in the same way supercooled water doesn't freeze until you give it a reason to. On average, 94% of the water that a tree takes in just evaporates. 1% is used for photosynthesis, 5% is used for growing the tree, the other 94% is there just to bring up the 6% that it uses.